This is a Tektronix Type 453 oscilloscope that uh, I've had since 2004 when it was given to me. Um, near as I can tell it was manufactured right around the time of the Apollo 11 lunar landings and uh, for that reason I think it's kind of cool. It's sort of like a piece of history and as you can see it's quite a complex piece of machinery. There's a bazillion transistors and capacitors all over the place in this thing and um, when I first got it I had to make some adjustments to it and the one thing they noticed that was not working is this A sweep triggered indicator lamp does not come on and um, I've determined that now I've had this thing sitting for years and years and I recently decided that I want to start using it again and um, I remember when I initially got it I discovered this little indicator lamp did not work and I went and looked in the schematics and realized that it was a little incandescent bulb and um, verified that the thing had burned out so um, about three weeks ago I ordered a new old stock bulb off eBay from a guy in Greece and it's still not here. I paid six bucks for the bulb, eight dollars for the shipping and I decided to go with my original idea before I ordered it to just convert this little incandescent bulb to an LED and here's the little the little bulb it just snaps into the uh, little holder inside. It's a real pain in the rear to get to. It's down down inside of there. Can't really see it too well but it's down inside of there. You just pop the thing off the little holder and uh, you can get access to it. The wire is just barely long enough to be able to access it. What I've done here is I've temporarily wired I uh, soldered two wires to that so I can attach jumper cables to it to uh, do testing and uh, I found something that works and I will now show you exactly what you can do to fix your Tech 453 if this little indicator lamp is not working. Probably every single one of these things out here this is burned out because that's something that is constantly turning off and on. But, you know, in 1969, that was like the best technology they had. Okay, so where this little bulb occurs in the circuitry is in the A sweep generator section, which we're looking at the schematic for here. And it's right up here. This is it right here, B596, the A sweep triggered indicator lamp. And basically, this transistor here. Whenever it receives a signal that the scope is triggered on a waveform, it tells this little lamp to turn on. And um, so this little bulb is constantly turning off and on and off and on, and eventually it just burns out. So you know, I'm not surprised that um, it's burnt out. I mean, after all, the scope was built in 1969. It's been used who knows how long, how many hours it had on it before I got it. So to convert this little indicator lamp from an incandescent bulb to an LED, it's actually pretty simple. What I've done here is basically replaced the incandescent bulb with an LED and uh, put a little 4.7K current limiting resistor here so that the thing doesn't burn out because it's going to be getting 12 volts DC. And uh, basically, we're just replacing that little bulb with this LED. And um, in this case, I'm using one of these super bright blue 5 millimeter LEDs that um, I've used in many of my guitar pedal builds. Works out pretty well. It's pretty bright. It's bright enough to uh, shine through the little holder in the, in the uh, scope. I was having a little trouble finding an LED that was bright enough, so I had to end up using that. And so here 
is the little bulb that had burned out. And here is the LED. In comparison, so you can see they're very similar in size, and uh, here I have it wired up so that all I have to do is solder those two wires to um, here and this little hole right here at the end of this resistor, and uh, snap it back in place, and we're good to go. So I'm going to turn on my do-it-yourself function generator here to input a waveform into the scope. And here you can see it's not triggered. It's just kind of rolling across the screen there. Now when I turn this level control to lock on the signal, our little indicator light comes on. When it's not triggered, it goes off. So it's working. Now, in the original scope, this would have been like a little green light, kind of like the power light here. But um, this blue LED kind of overpowers the green lens in here. This is actually out of a, a, a dead parted out 453. Um, but it will look exactly the same once I have it in here. So here I've soldered this to the wires and verified that it works and all we have to do now is snap it back into the little holder down inside this hole and we're good to go.